Okay, so a couple of funny things right now is I start out up here and I realize I'm still in love with my haircut. So EJ, you are a genius. Um, I'm still pretending I'm not seeing if there's any gray in there and it doesn't really matter because I'm pretending it's not there, so therefore it's not there. Uh, secondly, I was going so well on this and then my alarm rang, <laughs> so I had to restart. So that's just the little bloopers for you. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today is about confidence and um, how it elevates us out there to the world when we feel uh, comfortable and confident in what we're wearing. So I have two thoughts with it. One, I want to share a little story and it's um, uh, illustrated in a book that's written by a woman by the name of Karen Pine. And she talks about, can clothes really change your life? And after this story, she goes, I think it can. And then the other aspect is about feeling confident and comfortable in what you're wearing. So whether you're dressing to pitch for a job or it's in your workplace, no matter what kind of work you're doing, are you dressed to fit in with that environment? And are you representing yourself well by feeling good in what you're wearing? Because when you do that, your confidence comes through, you're just comfortable, and as I said, people take notice. So first up, um, the little story is, uh, so it was about the aspect of, can clothes really change your life? And yes, they can. So fast forward in the story, uh, this woman Meg had moved to the UK from the US, and shortly before she left, she had gone into a department store and she saw this red hat and she thought, oh my God, I gotta try this on. So she tries the hat on and then some doubt set in. Uh, does this look good on me? Can I really carry it off? Do I have the attitude to carry it off? And do I feel confident wearing this? So uh, she's trying it on and this woman passes her and says, buy that hat, it looks smashing on you and it'll change your life. So fast forward, she moves to the UK and um, the guy who's now her husband, was he was interviewed for something and he said, well, when I saw that red hat across the room, I thought I have to go and meet a woman that can wear a hat like that. And then the rest is history. So my thought with that is about when we wear something, when we look in the mirror, we wear something and go, I look great today. And we feel it. It doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks. As long as you walk out the door feeling confident in what you're wearing and you walk out and go, I look like a million bucks today. People are going to look at you and think, I want what she's having. So that's one thing. So how do you get to do that? Well, um, of course, <laughs> if you don't have pieces in your closet already, I can help you. <laughs> I have this little side gig, or actually it's my full-time job, but kidding aside, um, it's actually part of a workshop that I'm talking about on Wednesday. Uh, there's a group called The Wine Women. It's an organization, it's a nonprofit organization, and they're helping women, particularly in the wine industry, but you don't have to be in the wine industry. Um, but they're helping them sort of elevate their careers and maybe some of them need a little help with their wardrobe. So I'm talking about dressing and dressing appropriately for your environment. Whether that's uh, somebody who moved from, let's call it Texas, that moved to Sonoma, for example, the wardrobe is probably different. So what do you feel comfortable wearing if you live in Sonoma now and you used to be in Texas? or the East Coast and Sonoma, for example, or even Denmark and Sonoma. Um, the other aspect is where are you in your work environment? Are you at a place where you're hoping to advance and are you dressing so people actually see you as um, an advancement material or are you wearing pieces that you feel comfortable in but maybe they're not really right for your environment? So I'm talking about that on Wednesday at four o'clock uh, Pacific time and I am going to give you a link as well. So if you want to join in, it's just a Zoom call because that's all we can do these days. But if you want to join in, then you're more than welcome to. And um, I have a feeling I'll be doing more of that actually because I think it's highly engaging, it's fun. And um, hopefully I get to educate and entertain people a little bit. So uh, particularly women, because I don't think guys are going to listen to me on how to dress, but you never know. You know, there might be somebody who's looking to help his wife out a little.